Okay, in this video, we're going to use uh, the constructive uh, proof of the Chinese remainder theorem to solve this system of linear congruences. So the first step is to calculate the product of 5, 7, and 6. So we have n equals 5 times 6 times 7, which is 210. And then the next thing we need are these capital N1, capital N2, and capital N3. And so if capital N is the product of all three of these, capital N1 is the product of the last two, leaving out the first. Capital N2 is the product of the first and the third, leaving out the second. And capital N3 is the product of the first two, so we're leaving out the third. So we, here we have N1 is 6 times 7. So that's 42. N2 is 5 times 7, so that's 35. And N3 is 5 times 6, so that's 30. So now we're all set. We have uh, these numbers to work with. So the next thing we want to do is invert Ni modulo little ni. So in other words, we want to solve the linear congruence capital N I X I is congruent to 1 mod little n i where the capital N's are given here and the small n's are given here so that means we have three um, things to invert so we need to do 42 X 1 is congruent to 1 mod 5 good we need to do 35 x2 is congruent to 1 mod 6 so that would be the second and finally we need to do 30 x3 is congruent to 1 mod 7 Okay, so before doing these calculations, it's probably best to simplify these numbers modulo 5, 6, and 7 as appropriate. So here we have 42 is the same thing as 2 mod 5, so we can write 42x1 as 2x1 mod 5, and then so on and so forth. So 35 is the same thing as 5, so here we have 5x2 is congruent to 1 mod 6, and here we have 30, x3 is the same thing as 2, x3, mod 7. And now since 5, 6, and 7 are pretty small, we can guess and check until we have inverses. So we notice that 2 times 3 is equal to 6, which is congruent to 1 mod 5, so this tells us that x1 is equal to 3, good, and then 5 times 5 is equal to 25, which is 1 mod 6, so that means we can take x2 equal to 5. Good. And then finally, 2 times 4 is equal to 8, which is 1 mod 7, so we can take x3 equal to 4. Good. So now we have x1, x2, and x3, and then now we form the following combination of the xi's, the capital ni's, and the bi's, which are in this column. So we want to form x, which is the sum of the xi, the ni, times the bi. Good. So let's see what we get there. So we'll start with 3, so that's x1 times n1, which is 42, times b1, which is 3, plus x2, which is 5, times n2, which is 35, times b2, which is 2, and then plus x3, which is 4, times uh, n3, which is 30, times b3, which is 1. Okay, good. So now that we've got this number calculated, we can um, do the arithmetic, and we notice that this is equal to 848. 848. So 848 is a solution to this uh, system of linear um, congruences, but <clears throat> we know that this solution should be 
unique modulo capital N, so modulo 210, so that means we'll reduce uh, 848 modulo 210, and we'll notice that this is congruent to 8 mod 210. And that's our final answer, so we have x is congruent to 8 mod 210.